there's an amazing sequence in this film in the beginning. I, I, I love your arc of your character in this film because it, to me it's like a subtle breaking uh, as he's becoming more emotional throughout the film and letting those emotions come out. And there's a great moment in the beginning where you kind of like in your inner monologue saying, put a smile on, I'm looking for the exit on the door. The guy comes up to you and tries to grab you and mm -hmm. or hug you, whatever. I was curious, like shooting a sequence like that, I mean, that's a very interesting thing because as an actor or like you deal with those things in real life as well, like playing that sequence out, like what is that, is it cathartic to shoot a moment like that in a movie? Well, you, you again, um, so much of it is um, discovery. Hmm. Do, do you know, like, we didn't know exactly how we were going to end this film. We didn't know how we would um, tonally achieve in each scene the feelings that we were talking about. We didn't, we just knew what we were after in this idea of, of how do you portray not being, um, being disconnected hmm. and wanting, yearning for more but not having the, the ability to, to do it. Hmm. And so scenes like that all just become steps in calibrating this gentle cracking of the egg until... It's an amazing till moment. Flood, till, <laughs> till the floodgates open. Um, my favorite shot in the film, some of the, I mean, Hoyt Van Hoyt, I mean, ever since I saw Interstellar, I've just been blown away by the way he operates film. Mm -hmm. um, the sequence when you were falling to earth in the beginning of the movie, it's in the trailers. Um, how are they achieving the shots of you just in your helmet, screaming as you're spinning? Are you doing any of the spinning on wires, or is it just the camera moving around you? Uh, it's both. It's, cool. it's this incredible, we had a great, great stunt team led by, led by Rob Alonzo, who came up with this thing that would spin us, spin me on a, like a, like on a cross, but then would also be moving back and forth. And then the camera's on this great gyro head that, that can spin like this. So <laughs> it, it feels like, you know, we're all over the, all over the place, but these are, you know, these take a lot of thought going into them and that's, um, um, and they, they really pay off. Last two questions for you. Uh, you've worked with some of the greatest directors in the history of movies, and I genuinely think you are one of the greatest actors of all time. And I, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm not just thank saying that because we're sitting here. I actually mean that. I think Jesse James is a masterpiece. You're phenomenal. Thank you. When you work with a filmmaker like someone like Fincher, uh, obviously it's 20 years since Fight Club, what do you take Crazy. from that set? Isn't that wild? What do you take yeah. from that set and still use here? Like, what is something that you remember Fincher telling you on Fight Club that you still take with you? Well, first of all, Fincher's one of my closest friends yeah. that I, just, I see every, I see weekly and we, <laughs> and we, we laugh our asses off. <laughs> but Fincher was probably the, I mean, meeting Fincher changed everything for me. Um, yeah. He just had, it was the first time I heard someone talk about film the way I believed in film, but could could articulate it so much better than me. What's in the box? And, and, and since then, you know, just the feeling on his sets, you know, being a, being a child of 70s films, it's like, ah, oh, this guy, this guy, yes, yes, he's talking complexities, he's talking um, the gray areas, um, mm. he's talking how to achieve it with camera, and, he, and, and those that have come before us, and, and I, it just changed everything. It's been, been a, a really um, valuable professional relationship, certainly. Yeah. And he's, and he's funny as shit. He's, funny <laughs> he's as amazing. Guy. He's the funniest guy I know. Uh, I told you this last night, my wife and I, true romance means everything to us, and Floyd is obviously one of my favorite characters of all time. I love that character. I'm on the couch and the guy cocks the shotgun, he goes, huh? <laughs> he's so such a funny character. You mentioned on the carpet last night that you loved, uh, where is he now? And you say he's probably hanging out with Lebowski. I have been thinking about that since you said that last night. How would that go down? What would they say to each other? I would I pay a thousand dollars to watch that movie. you know movie. those guys would have such a good time? What and would they, they would get nothing accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah. But damn, would they enjoy themselves. Get that movie made, please. Pla Plan B's next That's movie. Hilarious. Lebowski That's meets hilarious. Floyd. That'd be amazing. Hey, congratulations. This All right, movie thank is you so much.